What's up everybody? I'm Chris Pirelli at Promo Muscle and today I'm going to show you how to cut out images from a background. Often um, people use a lot of different tools. They sometimes try to trace the outline. They sometimes try to use the Bezier, Bezier tool. Bezier tool. Um, sometimes they try to use the wand tool, but I found a really awesome way to cut out photos and save you a ton of time, get the hair nice and right. Um, usually, this seemed to be a, a big sticking point for a lot of people. So we're going to jump right into it. Here's, here's what you do. Basically, you come over here. I have a picture open over here of some photos we shot. We're going to comp this out for the DVD cover of a project we're working on. Come over here. You select the quick selection tool. Now, I'm using a, whack, uh, a tablet. You guys can use a mouse, whatever. You take the quick selection tool. You have a pretty soft brush, about 80, and you just basically paint inside where you want to cut out, and it selects most of the stuff for you. So it's really simple, really easy. Now, obviously, this is just rough, and we're going to wind up coming back to uh, refine it, but this is something that used to take me forever, like literally hours to get this right, and with the new feature and the new uh, the new features of the mask, refine mask in Photoshop, it's a breeze to do. Okay, so we cut out the basic outline, and what I do is I press Shift, Alt, I believe it's, I, I'm sorry, Alt, uh, I believe it's Command on the Mac, and I paint into the places that kind of got messed up a little bit. All right. So press and alt using the minus key to basically take away whatever you want. Around the hair, it's a good it's a good idea to try to get some of the background in and I'll show you exactly how to deal with that in a minute. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Might have a little bit over here. Now, if you don't get it perfect, don't worry about it because the next step we're going to really we're going to whip through it and show you exactly how this all the refined mat saves a ton of time. Right, that looks pretty good. Let me just get this up here. I'll, I'll deal with that in a minute and show you exactly how to deal with that. Maybe make the brush a little smaller as we go. Alright, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to basically just lay a mask. Come down here, I click this button, and it makes a layer mask. Now, right here, I right click and choose Refine Mask. Now, in this Refine Mask, you have a bunch of options to view it on different backgrounds. So if it's going to be used on a dark background or a white background, you can change this to get to where you need it to be. We're going to probably use it on a little bit of darker background, so it's good to see what we're working with. Now, come over here. You're going to click Smart Radius. You're going to take that radius up to about 0.5. If you see, you're already starting to, to um, mess with the edges. Now, here's the cool trick. This button right here, you're going to keep it on Refine Radius Tool, and you're going to paint right in the areas that you want it to mask out, like right here. See, it just took out the background. Paint right here. It's taking out all that background color.
And now, what we do, what I do usually, find that edge. The hair usually has a lot of flyaways, and you know, because that the hair has spaces and the background shines through. Then I come over here and I smooth it out. I usually set it to about four or five. It starts to smooth out the edges. I feather it just a tiny bit. And then I shift the edge and I pull it in a little bit just to take a little bit more of where it was laying out of the picture. Like you could really go crazy and pull it all the way in, but you don't need to do that. A negative 10. Starting to look pretty good here. Maybe brush this part again. If you see a part that acts up, just press the Alt key or the Command key, brush over it again, it'll add it back, and then you can go sweep back over it and fix it a little bit better. Yeah, this looks pretty good. I mean, maybe it's a little bit too feathered, so we'll go down to like three. I like to have the edges a little bit harder to work with later. And then I come over here and de de uh, decontaminate colors. Click on that, and that's going to take any other bleed that you might be getting in out of the shot. Leave it here. New layer with layer mask, and that creates a new layer with the changes that you made. And I think that looks pretty good. Press OK. And that's it. You're done. That's a quick cutout. That took us maybe six minutes. Where that used to take me, I couldn't even tell you, an hour, two hours to do. So, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And check back for more tips on using Photoshop and various programs to make killer marketing. See you later.